Hi everyone, and I have another special guest today. It is Liam. Liam is six and he's in kindergarten or almost in first grade. Whoa. Also, I wore a special shirt for you. I'm a math teacher. I put the fun in functions. So your math story, bedtime story for tonight is underwear. Hmm, Liam, what do you think this is about? Underwear. Let's find out. Underwear is that strange piece of clothing no one sees on us, but we still care what it looks like. We don't want to wear underwear that's goofy shaped, full of holes, or decorated with a cartoon character we haven't liked in three years. That's why things turn desperate when the laundry hasn't been washed in a few days and we run out of underwear. How many pairs do we need to get through the week? And if we run out, how many people are we willing to tell? Do you ever run out of underwear, Liam? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For the wee ones, if you go back and forth between striped underwear and purple elephant underwear, and you wore stripes yesterday and elephants today, which kind will you wear tomorrow? Stripes. You're right. Little kids, if the kids in your house have a total of nine superhero pairs of underwear and four peace sign pairs, how many total pairs do you all have? 13. Whoa, how did you do that? I don't know. Weird. Big kids, if you have 30 pairs of underwear, three neon, eight polka dots, and the rest plain old white, how many white pairs do you have? And here is the bonus. If you have seven pairs of underwear that you always wear in the same order, how many pairs will you get to wear five times in a 30-day month instead of just four times? And here is a kid in underwear. Hope you enjoyed bedtime math with Tilly and other Tilly. Tilly squared. Yay, high five. See you soon.